Hello my YouTube peeps. Coming from under a bridge. So I hope you can hear me. It's Monday, July 10th. And this is day seven. I think seven or eight. I think it's seven though. Of my walking. Back there, <laughs> I did my two miles. Um, and today, my knees feel a lot better. And so what I did was I did, I put on a fast song and I did it like a little spurt. Like right after my one mile, for as long as I could, I just walked as fast as I could. Um, and then when I felt the need, I slowed down, got me some water and marched on. So, and doing that, I also um, did, my average time was for up until that time was 22 minutes per mile so I think the average is you're supposed to be able to walk a mile in 15 minutes so that's my goal whether that's the average or not that's my goal um, and I get that from that walking lady <laughs> Leslie Sansone um, you know she has like the 15 minute mile um, and I think I heard it from her that, you know, an average person should be able to walk a mile in 15, you know, in 15 minutes. So the 5K, which is three, um, of course, that would be the 45 minutes average time. Um, and I know when I had did the 3K practicing, it was well over, maybe about an hour and a half. So anyway, I guess what I'm saying is my goal is to chop that seven minutes off that's my goal so anyway this is the last day that I can get up and freely walk without any obligation um, so to speak so what I'm going to do is to find ways to intentionally increase my walking so come up with a plan and of course in the morning my daughter usually gives me a ride to like the bus stop and um, it's a good time she is jet setting <laughs> again <laughs> and I'm so happy for her in um, LA this time and um, so that works out good because it kind of forces me to um, walk and the same thing usually she picks me up from the train station um so i'll be catching the bus to my corner and i know like if you guys look back and i'm gonna find this video today look back on almost when i was like two or three months out i was so sad and because it was still a struggle for me to walk from like the corner um to my house and I celebrated, I think, with the video the first time I was able to do that. Um, so now I know I'll be able to walk. In the morning, I'll be able to walk. And then, of course, after work, I'll go to gym. I'll get back on the bus. And I'll, instead of getting a ride from the train station, I'll get on another bus and then I'll walk what I was thinking about doing was if I don't get off there is to get off okay because that trail is like the trail that I walk in the morning is near my home so I could actually get off walk to the trail and walk home I guess on those days that I'm feeling feisty that's what I'll be doing um, oh and also another way to get in my steps when I go to work there's this bus stop that lets me off, you know, almost in front of my building. So what I had started doing before vacation is actually um, getting off a stop early. So I'll be doing that. I'll resume walking back up because another way that I was getting exercise too was I only work on the second floor of my building, but I would always take the elevator because because I would, was lazy. It's the truth. Um, 
and I didn't want to struggle with the stairs and I also this was like because I still can't you know like bend this leg to step up the stair like if somebody came in behind me I felt like I was holding them up but what I do now is just say go right ahead go you know go ahead in front of me and you know most people are like are you sure yeah sure go ahead and um so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna quiet down for a second to pass this lawnmower guy good morning excuse me so um I know I did over the two miles I was gonna try to do another fast walk and splurt but I'm not um I'm just I'm, I'm hurting <laughs> that's just the truth but um I'm still walking and that first um two miles always feels great first two miles always feels great it's, it seems like as soon as that little thing my little walk fit thing <laughs> says you have reached two miles and I'm thinking it might be mental so what I was going to do Saturday because I'm going to walk the trail on Saturday I'm going to try to turn that off and just go for it like just walk and not know how far I've walked into the end because I'm thinking that may be a mental block mentally I be might be thinking oh two miles oh god that's a mile can I, you know that's what I it may be so anyway since today is my last um, non work day to the weekend and I always purposely do that when I take vacation I never go back on a Monday I always go back on a Tuesday and I remember last time this year this was a really good vacation guys even though I didn't go anywhere it was good because last year I t took my vacation for my recovery time after the surgery and of course um, we all know what the first week after surgery feels like I was I slept um, the whole time and then the second week I just tried to prepare my mind um, but what a difference a year makes so this vacation was really really good my goal for next year y'all I'm, I'm going I, I gotta go to New York City it is just always been something that I wanted to do and here's the thing I want to go <laughs> I know this you know but I'm pretty much a loner um, but the reason why I want to go alone is because I don't want to be beholden to what somebody else wants to do I have in my mind what I want to do I want to go to the Today Show I want to see Al Roker and I'm willing to sleep outside if I get to see Al Roker I just like him um, and I wish um, what was that Tamara Hall was still there that's my girl I was gonna beg her to dress me because she wears some nice clothes but alas she's not on the show anymore but anyway I say all this to say I have places that I want to go and I want to just you know uh, sleep in a room in a bed by myself with all of the luxuries maybe not five star but as close as I can get it to those five um, you know I want to I hear that New York has a lot of vegan restaurants um, the thing is I'm so close and I've never been um, so that's my my goal and when I do go y'all come in with me um, because by that time this phone sucks um, it's a replacement phone but I'm going to get um, my better phone back for sure and I'm going to be taking a lot of um, doing a lot of vlogging 
when I'm there. And I'm just one of those people, like, I don't mind going to the theater alone. I don't mind going to restaurants alone. I don't mind being alone. Um, I like company. I'm not saying that. But, and there's some things I'm going to do next year with company. Like me and my sister, we want to go to, they have a soul vegan fest. I think it's in Chicago. It's coming up this year. Wouldn't be able to make it this year. But, um, and it's only a day. But I want to go to that. So those are my goals. And of course, when you go to those places, huh, you better know how to walk. So I'm going to go ahead and sign out. I'm almost home. And um, the bugs were okay. Oh, because you know what? I made this little concoction. Um, I had got it offline. It was like um, some oils, some essential oils, some rubbing alcohol. The only thing I didn't have is witch hazel. But today, it kind of worked a little bit better than yesterday. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and sign out. May the grace, grace and peace of God be with you today. And talk to you guys later.